Good afternoon, Abu Dhabi. I'm absolutely pumped and excited to be here at the Middle East. I've had the honour and pleasure of speaking and inspiring thousands of high school students across Australia in helping them become the best version of themselves. To date, I've had the honour and privilege to empower you to step up, take control and become the leader of your life. It's good to see how you can recognise issues that pop up and how to deal with them. The starting point to all achievement is desire. Being hungry for success, you've got to be hungry and nobody can give that hunger to you. It comes from within, that deep burning desire, that fire inside. Excellent performance, excellent words. Self-awareness is the first step to overcoming the things in your life that are holding you back. And these are what I call monkeys. The five monkeys that are standing in your way. Enzo, Scooter, Tyson, Daryl, and moi. Monkey number one, Enzo, the emotional monkey. You know that Enzo is on your back when you're carrying these negative thoughts. Number two, Scooter, the social monkey. You're afraid of not fitting in. You're afraid of what other people think. You're afraid of rejection. Monkey number three, is Daryl the distracted monkey. And we've all had Daryl pop up with our phones and our social media devices. Tyson, the tough monkey. And people that have Tyson on their back only end up drifting more into loneliness and isolation, intensifying that negative voice inside their head. Number five, moi. What do you see in the mirror? Do you see somebody who's ambitious, driven, and wanting to succeed? Or do you see somebody just couldn't care less, can't be bothered, wasting time? I found it really relatable because everyone has at least one of these monkeys and I really like his talk and I learned a lot from it. And I'm going to really unpack how you can get this monkey off your back. In 2018 guys, I published my very first book called Get the Monkeys Off Your Back. That covers topics such as mental health, resilience, well-being, leadership, bullying and becoming the best version of yourself while you're on planet Earth. I think this made you reflect more and be a bit more truthful to yourself and also reflect on whether these, this is happening in your life and how you can better that situation. No matter what age or stage of life you're at, the power is in your self-talk. Your self-talk can either keep you down or raise you up and take you to unbelievable heights. And you have the power to change your story by changing the way you think and what you believe. And that power comes from decision making. It's about no longer having that victim mindset. It's about having that champion's mindset because that's the first step to overcoming the challenge that you're going through. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. You are the creator of your story. You are the captain of your ship. You are the master of your destiny. Everybody in the room were thrilled. Marianne Williamson once said, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful. Powerful beyond measure.